Now specifically, if we're discussing osteoarthritis of the knee, here's an x-ray that shows a fairly arthritic knee joint. Now just to get you oriented, this is the outside of the knee and this is the inside. Now here is an adequate and what would be considered a normal joint space in its volume, but you can see the bone spurs that have occurred here. And over here you can see fairly dramatic loss of that joint space until it is essentially bone on bone with spurring above and below and also in the middle. Now with a little imagination you can see that this lower leg bone is also shifted slightly toward the outside which happens with osteoarthritis. Now to correlate that with a knee joint, here's a model. Here's the kneecap in front that for the purpose of our discussion I'm going to peel down and we're going to look inside the joint. Now this is the meniscus or the shock absorber on the inside. Here's the meniscus or the shock absorber on the outside. If these are worn through and the joint surface is worn through, then it wears down off center and you have the same type of wear pattern here that you would have with what's called medial wear. Now you may have also noticed that this particular knee x-ray also has hardware up on the femur or the thigh bone from where the patient previously had trauma to the femur. Now this particular type of wear and tear osteoarthritis has a special name. It's post-traumatic osteoarthritis which occurs after someone has had the knee or the leg traumatized such as a broken femur or a ligament injury or a sports injury many years ago.